We've got several different kinds of mycotoxins. One of the most well-known and important one would be the aflatoxin. That's an interesting one because when the animal eats contaminated grain, aflatoxin gets absorbed and gets into the liver where the liver tries to get rid of it, but what happens is it makes it more polar and it becomes even more toxic. That's why you get liver damage when aflatoxin's fed. Some other ones would be the trichothecenes like T2 toxin and deoxynevalanol. These are completely different chemical structures than the uh, aflatoxin. And these are known to be somewhat corrosive. They'll cause lesions on the beak and in the digestive system. So those are very important. And then the third class of uh, mycotoxins would be like ones that are estrogenic. The example there is zeralinone, and that can cause all sorts of reproductive problems in animals. And that's a completely different chemical structure than aflatoxins or the trichothecenes. But we do have toxin binders available, and there's a whole host of these. Most of these are based on uh, hydrated calcio, calcium aluminosilicate, or fractions of mined clay. Depending on the source of these, uh, there's differences in how well they're able to adsorb the mycotoxins. Other companies have improved the mycotoxin binders by adding other components to them, enzymes or bacteria or mold inhibitors and some other things. So it's a very large area and there's many, many products on the market. The nutritionist uh, has to decide if he needs to use one, which one to use.